going to start by using a size 12 hook, 2x heavy, and 2x long. We're going to use 532nd bead, and you want to use a slotted bead. Um, I use a slotted bead because it makes it easier to get on over past the bend of the hook with a small bead. And we use a small bead because Tracy likes it so that she can use it in really not deep water or, or she can use it in deep water. We're going to use 70 denier light olive thread. You're tie in some uh, white organza. You can use tan organza. I haven't noticed any difference. I've used both in the same fly to see if it made a difference, and I haven't seen a difference. Now we're going to use this uh, hot yellow wire. Um, I used it in this the original first time I tied this fly. When I started using it, I didn't have gold, and I was like, ah, oh, we'll try this. And then you can't fit, don't fix what's not broke, right? Now I like to pick up on the organza and the wire so it makes sure that it ends up on the very top of the hook. Okay, we're gonna grab some of this olive dyed rabbit um, nymph dubbing and dub that on. When applying this dubbing, I use very little dubbing. Now we're going to grab the wire and rib this fly and you want to rib this the opposite way you round your dubbing. It makes it stronger and it, you can see the wire a little bit better that way. Now when you get to, you want to tie it off you want to put thread wraps on both sides of the wire and twist it like a helicopter and break it off. Now you're going to get your nymph skin ready. You're going to cut this in about a quarter width, width wide strip. And then you're going to have to peel off the backing, which is white. And then when you tie this in, you want to tie it with the doll side up. And I'll explain to you why later. And now you're going to grab your olive lively legs in small or extra small. I know, you say, oh, another lively leg. But this, Tracy wanted me to make sure that you guys got this video because this is a deadly fly. Tracy, that's the only fly she had to, would, to, to take to the water. She'd be happy, happy as long as it wasn't hatch. This is the only fly she chooses to use like constantly in different sizes and catches a lot of fish on it. Now you want to get them front legs close to that bead as possible. Wrap some thread wraps behind them. All the way back to the other set of legs and a couple of thread wraps behind them legs. Now you're going to pull up on the tab right behind the bead, cut it off. And you're going to cut the last leg, set of legs off right behind the second set of legs. 
Don't cut your thread, but get as close as you can. And then grab your olive dubbing again and dub. Start the dubbing right behind the back legs, in between the legs, and I won't put too much dubbing right behind the bead so you have a spot to tie off. Okay, you're gonna pull your nymph skin over, tie it down right behind the bead, and then throw some whip finishes on there before you finish the rest of the fly. Now, what you're going to do is cut off the nymph skin as close as you can to that bead without cutting your thread. And then you're going to take the organza tail, and this is a little cool little trick you can I learned. Cutting the tails, just bend them over to right at the end, right behind the eye of the hook, and there's your tail length. Cut it off. Okay, Tracy wanted me to tell you, you all have to have this fly in your box. She don't leave home without it, and she recommends it. It's caught a lot of fish. She caught one one time. It straightened out this the hook. It was so big. All right, thank you for watching our video. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. Have a great day.